Well, many local farmers have spent the last several mm -hmm. days preparing for harvest season, but there's a potential dry spell that could impact crops. Yeah, our Garrett Drake spoke with a local farmer to get his expectations for the fall. He's in our newsroom, Garrett. Yeah, guys, extended periods with low amounts of rainfall can be a headache for local farmers, and things can get a lot worse when you combine that with harvest season. However, there are ways local farmers can manage a drought. As harvest season approaches for local farmers, a dry spell is expected to carry on for weeks. Despite this, the weather's impact is expected to be manageable. We've been getting things ready, and as far as the dry weather goes, we have had a dry... August, so we've been irrigating quite a little bit. Going into harvest, if we stay dry, I think the elevators and all will have a hard time getting rid of the crop because there won't be enough place to put it. Fortunately, the National Weather Service says that the drought should not get any worse due to the expected cooler temperatures. And there's another cool shot this weekend, and then likely we'll settle back in the anywhere from mid 70s to mid 80s for highs as we go through the middle of the month. So even though it is going to be dry, um, you know, those temperatures are, are not going to be hot to the extent where it would potentially make any developing drought worse. The USDA ranked Indiana's corn and soybean crops at 68% good to excellent, but Esslinger says the number could have been even higher. A month or two ago, I think we probably would have had a record crop, but since the dry weather's hit, I think it's taken some. I don't, I don't foresee that we'll have the record crop that they're predicting, but everything's really good. It's just not over the top good. Indiana's corn and soybean rating currently sits 3% above the U.S. average, which is a good sign for local farmers. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks a lot, Garrett, for that information.